morning and welcome to another edition of Wake Up with Wilder, our weekly look at the Old Dominion University football program with the head coach, Bobby Wilder. Coach, big win on the road, arguably the biggest win of the season, 37-30 over FIU. Yeah, I would agree, Ted, the biggest win of the season and having our backs to the wall like we do right now. We put ourselves in this situation and had to have it against a team that was 6-2. and two. They were 4-1 and one in the league and they were undefeated at home. And our guys went down there with that mentality of our back is against the wall. We have to win the game and really proud of how they performed. First half, the offense was a rolling. Ray Laurie, Stephen Williams, tell me what was working for you in the first 30 minutes. Yeah, it was, it was a, a f the ability, Ted, to get an explosive play. It just changes how you feel about yourself and the mindset. We're down 7-0. And we get a play, Stephen Williams play action pass, hits Harper down the middle for 65 yards. And then he comes back a little later, hits Melvin Vaughn on a, on a double move in the end zone for a touchdown. And you could just feel it on the sideline. You could feel it from the kids. The key right now is Ray Lowry's getting healthy. He's not 100%. He goes for 166 yards and two touchdowns. And, and Stephen Williams for the fourth week in a row, Ted, is over 60%. He was actually 71% in this game. And for the second Second week in a row, no turnovers. I was going to bring that up. No turnovers, and your defense creates two miscues from the Panthers that were huge in the second half. They were. It, it would really, Ted, if you, if you looked how you want your team to play, offense in the first half, defense in the second half. Although the defense only allowed 14 points in the first half, but you mentioned the turnovers in the second half, Ted. <clears throat> excuse me, and I would I would say stopping. The fake punt, you can treat that like a turnover, but they got uh, the strip sack by Daniel Lapu that mile, that uh, Pat Toll recovered, and then what we covered this morning on Anatomy of a Play, Jordan Young flying out, stripping the ball from their outstanding receiver Owens, JoJo Heaton returns at 20 yards, and then um, Miles Fox, Ted, um, we were in what we call punt safe. They had a fourth and two right around midfield, so we leave our defense on the field, take Rob Thompson out, and put Darrell Brown in so we can return the ball if they punt it, but defend the fake, and they tried to run a fake with the punter. Miles Fox made an outstanding play, and that led to a touchdown, Ted. So our 13 points we scored in the second half, two field goals off of turnovers and the touchdown off of their fake punt. And let's once again throw some props into the Florida native Nick Rice, who was a, a wonderful place kicking as well. Wow, Ted, he is, he was three for three Saturday. He's 13 for 15 now. And remember, he had one blocked against North Carolina, which would have been good. His only miss this year was the 46-yarder against Charlotte last week. He's 21 for 21 on extra points. So he's 34 for 36 when he puts his foot in the ball, which is really impressive, especially considering, Ted, the fact he's a true freshman. So this week, you've got the Oyster Bowl and Military Appreciation Day. It's Senior Day, and oh, by the way, the game against Rice at home is desperately important. Yeah, you four really important things there. Um, the Not Oyster necessarily Bowl. in that order, maybe, but... Uh... <laughs> Oyster Bowl, Military Appreciation, Senior Day, and, and the game. Game. And that, that's exciting, Ted, for, I mean, the Oyster Bowl is an unbelievable tradition. Obviously, Military Appreciation Day, that goes without saying. And, and we honor, as you know, one of our, our wounded warriors every week comes out with President Broderick for the coin toss. Uh, Fourteen seniors that have been, this is the first class, Ted, that's been part of the transition, going back to guys like Melvin Vaughn, who played in 2013, mm -hmm. that first transition year. Uh, so it, it's so important from all those standpoints. And then the game, we've actually put ourselves in a position to have our backs against the wall one more week. And that's, that's what we want right now with the ability, uh, if we can find a way to win this game, Ted, that, that keeps us in the hunt. And a Rice football team right now that is gaining momentum. They played extremely well, Ted, against Southern Miss this past week. They rushed the ball for 254 yards. They have the, the preseason defensive player of the year at linebacker. has got 101 tackles. He's a tackling machine. The sack leader in the conference with eight. So they've got good football players. They got so beat up, Ted, earlier in the year. How about their non-league schedule? They played Stanford and Houston, who's in contention to win their leagues. Army, who's 8-2 and two right now, and a Pittsburgh team out of the ACC. When you start out 0-4, and, and when you start out, uh, they lost a lot of guys, that makes it a challenge. They're getting healthier, they're playing much better football. Don't look at the Rice record and think you know all about what's going to happen on Saturday. We need you there. 2 o'clock kickoff. Loud and proud. And, and Rice, loud and proud. Your last chance to see the Monarchs at home this season. There's incentive enough. <laughs> I'm with you. That's been this week's edition of Wake Up With Wilder. For Bobby Wilder, I'm Ted Alexander from Monarch Media.